Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am doing my quarter one update for my skincare inventory. So if you didn't see the initial skincare 2024 inventory video that I put up, I will link that up in the eye. So this video is talking about what I brought in in quarter one, what went out in quarter one and where I'm sitting with the goals that I have set for this year in terms of breaking it down per quarter. So let's get on into it. Just to recap on the opening, my skincare inventory opened at $5,089.67. Quantity wise, that was across 223 items. In terms of what went out during quarter one, I did already post my empties video, so I will link that up in the eye. In terms of what has been added in in quarter one, therefore, you will already have seen this one if you watched my makeup update, which should have been my last video, so I will link that up at the end if you've not seen that one. Four sachet samples that came in during quarter one, so they needed to be added on, and they should all be gotten by the end of quarter two, so we're not worried about them. And if you watch my empties video, you will know I finished a lot of my hydrating serums, so I did bring in a new hydrating serum. I went for this one from the Inky List. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Serum, so just very straightforward what it says in the tin. This was worth $10 and I count the sachet samples as being worth a dollar each. So that's $14 worth of stuff that has come in and it's five items quantity wise. In terms of this, I am quite enjoying it. It definitely works. I do see that my skin is more hydrated with it. I am very nearly finished it and what I've done, I've actually got the Kiehl's Hydro Plump. I have bought that just very recently, it'll be in my quarter two add-ins so that I have it ready for when this goes. But I do find that more plumping on the skin, closing the name really. But I do think this is a great budget option so I would definitely happily have this again. But overall I'm very excited to go back to my Kiehl's one. So in terms of the numbers, the opening value as I said was $5,089.67. I have added in $14 worth of stuff across my four sachet samples in my serum. I used up $662.39 worth of product. That is in my empties video, so I will link that up if you want to go and have a look at it. And I didn't declutter anything. So my new skincare total is $4,441.28. Quantity wise, I opened at 223. We've added in five and we used up 36. So that brings me a new quantity of 192 items. To go on to my specific goals that I have for specific categories within skincare, I overall want to reduce my total items to 150 or less. That's by the end of the year. And I definitely think we're going to achieve that looking at that jump down in quarter one. As long as I don't end up bringing in too much during the year, it'll come down to under 150. I'm not worried about that goal. For the individual categories that I have goals on, for makeup removers, eight to start with, my goal is to get that down to five. So I'm aiming to reduce it by three, and that means eight using up 0.75 per quarter. In quarter one, I actually used up two, so I've now got a total of six. So I do think I should be able to get it down to five. If I finish my micellar water though, that would get replaced. Although that would bring the number down, one would get added in in its place. So the overall total would stay stagnant. So really what I'm talking about is using up another cleansing balm because I've got quite a few. Uh, I get quite a lot for Christmas. I obviously raved about the Lisa Eldridge one to anyone who would listen because I've got four I think. Um, so I've got quite a number of them to get through but I am hoping that I'll be able to use another one before the end of the year. So I'm not too worried about that category. For cleansers, I opened with 20. My goal by the end of the year is to get that down to 15, so I'm aiming to reduce by five. So that means using one and a quarter per quarter. A lot of quarters in that sentence there. And in quarter one, I used up two, and my new total is 18. So if I use another three and don't bring any in, I should hit that goal of 15. So another one per quarter, and I think that's perfectly doable. For serums, I opened with 12. My aim is to get that down to five, so a total reduction of seven. In quarter one, I used five, so really, really pleased with that, but I obviously brought the hyaluronic acid serum in. So my new total is eight serums, so I'm aiming to use another three, which I do think should be doable. I think I can knock another three out, even allowing for having brought one in by the end of the year. I think we'll be on track with the serum goal, so I'm not worried about that one. Oil, I opened with seven. My goal is to reduce that to five, so a total reduction of three. 
and in quarter one I used two so I am really pleased with that just means I need to use one more oil by the end of the year I think that should be doable although I'm not using one at the moment so this is the reminder that I do need to use another one before I can relax on that retinols I opened with five I'm aiming to get that down to two so a total reduction of three and 0 0.75 per quarter to achieve that I didn't finish any in quarter one um, so that's definitely one that I need to step the game up on a little bit. I probably kind of shot myself in the foot because I'm using a full size one at the moment. Um, I would definitely hit the quantity goal quicker if I prioritised the samples. So I'll maybe break on the full size one, use some of my samples first. Eye cream, I opened with 20. I'm aiming to get that down to 5. I say eye cream, it's like eye products. So I've also got eye masks in there which are a single use. So I do think like... That sounds like a really dramatic reduction, but I think it will be doable. So that's a total reduction of 15. So I'm aiming to use 3.75 eye products per quarter. And in quarter one, I used up four. So my new total is 16. So we've made a good start. And hopefully if we just continue at that rate every quarter, we'll hit five by the end of the year. For moisturizers, I opened with 18. My goal is to get that down to nine. So halving that. So that means using up 2.25 per quarter. And in quarter one, I used up three. So my new total is 15. So another six to go and I'll be at the nine, which I'll be really happy with. I am prioritizing my minis first. So hopefully I think we should hit the bulk of that number fairly quickly. And then it will just be how quickly I can use some of the full size ones. I obviously don't want to be overusing things just for the sake of hitting a number, but I definitely want to prioritize the minis and get the bulk of I think the minis are what, you know, they kick about and they take up space and you can never find them when you're looking for them. Um, so definitely want to get them moved out and just be left with less full-size products. For face masks, this was not a good one. Opened with 27, my aim is to get that down to 15. So I'm aiming to reduce by 12. So that means I need to use three per quarter and in quarter one, I used one. So I definitely, definitely need to give myself a little kick and use some more face masks. I do think in all fairness I've got quite a few that are very nearly done but I just need to like make sure I'm using them and getting them done and again prioritising the minis. Body wash I opened with seven I'm aiming to get that down to three so a reduction of four using one per quarter and in quarter one I actually used up two so I'm feeling really good about that. Good start to that. We're down to five. I think it should be doable to use another two before the end of the year. Body moisturiser, I opened with 17. I'm aiming to get that down to nine, so I'm aiming to use eight, which means using two per quarter. And I was bang on that for quarter one. I used two, so we're on the right path there. Just need to make sure I maintain that for the rest of the year. Then hand products, we opened with seven. My goal is to get that down to two. I feel like that was quite a big goal to set myself. So I need to reduce that by five, which means using one and a quarter hand products per quarter. And I used none in quarter one. I've definitely got one that will be in my quarter two empties. I'm hoping I can actually get that to two in my quarter two empties. But yeah, I need to definitely step the hand products up. I would have put one in my project pan, but I felt like it was too small an item to be in a year long project pan. And I actually was intending to do like a six by summer project pan, but I've just not had any time at all recently. Life has been so busy. So I've not really had time to start that and summer officially starts in June, which is next month. So I'm not gonna start that now. I think what I'll do is do a five by fall. So I'll probably put hand cream in that. I feel like hand cream is just that kind of product that if I'm not actively thinking about it, I don't use it unless my hands really actively feel dry. It's more like something that I use like um cure rather than prevention essentially rather than saying prevention is better than cure so it's definitely something I need to work into my routine and just be a bit more mindful of so definitely one that I need to work on but overall I think my skincare is going all right hand cream and face masks are my two biggest concern that's what I feel like I'm not moving through quickly enough so I need to prioritize those um, but overall, I think it's going all right. It's going in the right direction. I'm pleased with the overall reduction. I definitely think we'll get this down to under 150 items by the end of the year. I'm not worried about that. And we'll see what the value ends up being. I am more focused on the quantity this year than the value. So the quantity is the focus and I'm pleased with where the quantity went this month. So that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.